Spotty rain is possible tonight, becoming mostly sunny on Friday. Good Thursday night, East Tennessee. David Aldrich, Captain Accurate here from the Captain Accurate Weather Command Center. Well, you can see it's awfully cold back to the west, so much so they've had frost advisories issued now for parts of West Tennessee. And dare I say in Missouri, there's a freeze warning for many areas in southern Missouri. That's how cold it's going to be there. But for us, we'll be closer to 40 when you wake up tomorrow morning. Our high temperature today came in very early this morning, 75 degrees, but peak wind gusts at 305 this morning stole the show. It took out some power in some cases with a gust of 64 miles per hour. Normal high is 66, but we spent most of the day much colder than the 75 that you saw there. In fact, many of us getting into the 60s early this morning around, say, Wartburg and Jamestown, but even at 8 o'clock this evening, we're still in the upper 50s, closer to 60 in Teleco Plains and Maryville, and 59 in Morristown. Temperatures to the west already down to the mid 40s in Memphis and 44 in Paducah. Now, the winds haven't dropped off completely, but they're not as uh, gusty as they were maybe 24 hours ago, uh, but they're still moving about 10, 15 miles per hour, and that may be what we expect 5 to 15 during the course of tomorrow. But if you are an allergy sufferer, you might want to take note that tree pollen will also be very high. Maple, elm, alder, and juniper are the big culprits this time of year, so if you're wheezing and sneezing, there could be a connection. Tracking the clouds, we've got a lot of those tonight. Think of it as a mostly cloudy sky, and eventually some of that rain could work its way in from the west, but it won't necessarily all hold together. Headlines looking like this, mostly cloudy tonight with spotty rain possible, becoming mostly sunny on Friday, but Friday's highs generally in the mid to upper 50s. That's about it. Mid to upper 50s is what I expect for your Friday. So it's not going to be uh, even as warm as it was today. But look at all of these local storm reports. These are all coming in from the National Weather Service. We had quite a few tornadoes, about two or three dozen across the deep south, some of them making it into North Carolina as well. Uh, but just one or two here says that they noted on the radar at least 13,000 feet in the next few scans, either a new tornado or a continuation of the old one was on the move. So they had some issues, certainly in places like Perry County, Alabama, earlier, uh, say, yesterday evening. Uh, that's when most of it was pretty active. And then we had another one in Mississippi where a mobile home was damaged there. So not always a pleasant situation, but thankfully things are quieting down at this moment. Meanwhile, we see the few specks of green, some drizzle coming in, maybe a spot of rain by 11 o'clock from the west. There it is at 4 in the morning. Many of you may be asleep when it comes by, but then it could change, could, maybe to some snowflakes in the higher elevations where you see some color, a little bit of pink there turning to blue, not far from the Tri-Cities at 8 o'clock Friday morning. But the big blue H will win the day. We'll actually see a lot of sunshine tomorrow and eventually uh, maybe mostly clear tomorrow night before the possibility of some drizzle comes back into play on Saturday. This is probably over-depicted. Most of the energy I'm seeing on other models takes it up towards Cincinnati, but it does show it looks like it's right here through the heart of Knoxville by 5 o'clock Saturday. So we'll keep it in the forecast. Just don't expect much as I think it'll work its way uh, from west to east and it'll be quick moving if it does verify. Future cast shows a more high pressure coming in on Sunday and a beautiful day, certainly by Sunday. So for tonight, we're looking for a low temperature near 40, mostly cloudy spots of rain possible. Winds 5 to 15, low temperature 34. That's pretty chilly. In Oneida, 36, Bell County, Middlesboro. It's a cold night. There might be even some frost in some of those areas. But becoming mostly sunny tomorrow, we'll struggle. I mean struggle to get to 58 degrees. Many of you may not get past 55, 56. But winds out of the west, 5 to 15 miles per hour. And here's your Friday outlook. 58 for Maryville, about 60 for Teleco Plains, 59 for Athens, 53 for Wartburg. Here's your Captain Accurate Weather Authority forecast for Knoxville and East Tennessee, 63 for Saturday day now. Some drizzle possible, maybe a brief shower, but 72 on Monday. Warmest day looks like it's Wednesday of next week, becoming more unsettled by late afternoon Tuesday right through, say, Thursday morning, as I think most of it will be out of there before Thursday afternoon. But at least it warms up nicely to about near 79, near 80 by middle of the week. By the way, keep track of the weather using the Captain Accurate Weather app. Now with Pete Michaels Traffic, weather and traffic perfect together and at your fingertips. Just Search Captain Accurate at the App Store and Google Play. Well, my name is David Aldridge. Some people call me Captain Accurate. It's not easy being accurate, so weather doesn't surprise you. We'll see you here next time. Take care.